My name is Dennis California. Welcome to how to enable hardware acceleration on a Synology device in vSphere 6.5. I'm recording this video for personal training and it will take about 5 minutes. This video is a best view for a level 2 or level 3 engineer. So, let's start. I'm using Synology Assistant to discover the device on the network. I'm selecting Control Panel, File Services, and as you can see, the Network File System protocol is enabled. On Shared Folder, I've just created a couple of folders and I'm going to use the ISO. Where you can see the default configuration. I only removed the enable recycle bin flag. The mount pad we will use later in vSphere and the four IP addresses that are allowed to connect to this device. And just for testing I'm using the vSphere distributed switch I created for the SCSI traffic. And it's now time to create a new NFS data store. And as I spent a few days testing NFS 4.1 with different storage vendors, I will continue with NFS 3. On server, I'm adding the Synology NAS IP. Just for training, for now I'm going to select only the 06. And we are now successfully mounted the ISO data store on the Synology NAS. And as you can see, the hardware acceleration is not supported on any host. I'm following now the release notes for an FS plugin I found on a Synology website. And as you can see, it's related to VMware ESXi full reboot of the host is now required. And as you can see, for this host, the hardware acceleration is now supported. 
And just for training I did the same on the SXI host 01 and I have unmounted the ISO data store. And as you can see, the hardware acceleration is now fully supported. And we are now near the end of this video, so just for training, let's enable storage area control on this data store. Okay, so thank you for watching this video, and uh, if you enjoyed it, subscribe on my channel. Or let's keep in touch through my website. Bye!